Hi, welcome back to my channel Physics from 5 SSM. Today we continue chapter 5 electronics on topic 5.3 transistor. What is transistor? In my previous video, I discussed that a PN junction form a diode. So in this topic, a combination of two PN junctions, it will produce transistor. Let's look at the structure of transistor. Transistor has three terminals, base, collector, and emitter. Combination of two PN junctions produce two types of transistor, NPN transistor and PNP transistor. Let's look at the two types of transistor, NPN transistor and PNP transistor. How to differentiate between these two symbols? If you look at for NPN transistor, Terminal C, collector, is N. Base is P, E is N. Look at direction of arrow is from B to E, which is P to N. For PNP transistor, collector is P, base is N, E is P. Look at direction of the arrow head. It, it, it is from E to B, or also from P to N. So, the direction of the arrow head in the symbol actually follow direction of conventional current which is always from positive to negative. The function of terminals of transistor, emitter E supplies charge carriers to the collector. Base B controls the flow of charge carriers from the emitter to collector. The collector C receives charge carriers from the emitter. In order the transistor to be on or function normally in the circuit, the emitter base, which is BE junction, must be always forward bias. And the collector base BC is reverse bias. In my previous video, I have discussed about concept of forward bias and reverse bias. For example, if we use NPN transistor, the base part must be connected to positive and the emitter must be connected to negative and the collector must be connected to positive. Thus, it will produce BE junction which is forward bias and BC, which is reverse bias. Same thing if we use PNP transistor. The base part must be connected to negative terminal, the emitter is connected to positive terminal, and the collector is connected to negative terminal in order for transistor to function. Let's discuss on the working principle of a transistor. To understand the working principle of transistor, we can discuss on mechanism of charge carrier flow in transistor. If you look at the circuit here, the transistor used is NPN transistor. When the base voltage is enough to overcome the junction voltage of BE, small amount of electrons will be pulled to B or base. Thus, base current flow and transistor is on. The collector, which is more positive, will pull large amount of electrons from emitter to cross the junction. Thus, large current flow in the collector circuit. For the circuit to function, you can look at how the BE junction is connected in the base circuit. If you look carefully for NPN transistor, the base is connected to positive, the emitter is connected to negative. So in this case, BE junction is forward bias. If you look at the CB junction, C is connected to positive. Or we can say that CB junction is reverse bias. So this connection will ensure large amount of charge flow in collector circuit thus produce very large current or collector current flow in collector circuit. For PNP transistor, 
when base voltage is enough to overcome the junction voltage of BE, small amount of holes will be pulled to B or base. Thus, base current flow and transistor is on. Collector which is more negative will pull large amount of holes from emitter to cross the junction. Thus, large current flow in the collector circuit. If you look carefully the connection, the BE junction in the base circuit is connected in forward bias. The base, which is N, is connected to negative. E, which is P, is connected to positive terminal. Collector, which is P, connected to negative. The reverse bias of CB junction is to ensure large amount of charge flow in collector circuit or large amount of current produced in collector circuit. You must understand that the movement of holes actually is caused by the movement of electrons in the circuit. As we discussed earlier, the characteristic of the transistor, the transistor will be on if the BE junction is forward bias and the base voltage is enough to overcome the junction voltage of BE. If this happens, the transistor will be on and allow charge to flow to collector circuit and produce collector current. In other words, we can say that collector current is depends on base current. If no base current means no collector current flow in collector circuit, this property will cause transistor to be used as a switch. For the second property is, a small base current will produce very large collector current, thus transistor is function as an amplifier. A small base current produce larger collector current. We will discuss more on application of transistor in my next video. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Bye.